this uh, measurement of cognitive functions were being done for uh, mentally ill people and for alcoholics. So, there will be an impairment in cognitive functions during the process of illness. So, especially particularly we were measuring P300 potential. A P300 event related potential is a reliable indicator of memory. So, when the information is stored P300 definitely should occur. So, we thought why not we extend this for crime investigation purpose. If a person is involved in the crime, his brain should have a record of all the information. He should store all the information in the brain. So, then when they, he stores the information, then P300 should definitely occur. So, we made a pilot study of around 120 people and we got a very significant P300 potential. Then we later, we extended that and developed this brain mapping technology. So, the signals that is generated from the brain is more significant than the signals generated from the body. So, the person may turn hostile. So, while interacting or when he is resorted to third degree treatment, he may turn hostile. He may not give the information or an innocent person due to fear may admit though he has not done it. But this is a tool to exonerate the innocent. This is a very, very non-invasive uh, technique and here no statements are elicited from the person who is being subjected to brain mapping. You build on that, you know he is lying, so you look for other evidences, connect, connecting evidences. This is only secondary evidence to give you certain leads. It is not primary evidence like, uh, you know, the fingerprint or DNA fingerprinting and things like that. It is a new technique, it is evolving and only time will tell. Uh, about its further utility. the individual privacy, individual autonomy and self-determination are very central to the protection of human dignity. And I would broadly suggest one of the main issues in the context of uh, the brain mapping as an exercise uh, is essentially uh, how much the human dignity questions are a given priority. Uh, would it take away question of consent? Would it take away the uh, self-determining aspect of the individual?